Hello, today we're going to talk about a website called Sequence. Um, this website is really good for doing things like building scales and rhythms. First we're going to talk about rhythm. Rhythm happens um, top to bottom, so if we start here, it'll make a little blip. And it goes in what would be approximately 16th notes. If we go down, one, two, three, four, we're going to get beat two, another four, beat three, and beat four. So as you can see, we've got our little intermediate beats in between here. So in order to create rhythms, we just put them in place of where we want them to go. And as you can see, it shows up over here, going radially outward from the sound wave, which is represented kind of like as a little creature. So, next, we're going to talk about pitch. Pitch happens um, left to right. So each subsequent square goes uh, up in pitch. So that would be, as you can see right now, it's going up in octaves. So we can actually change that by going down here. This right here is what changes how the pitches work. So these uh, little blocks here are a series of half steps. Um, and what you do if you want to go, if you want the next one to just go up a half step, you just click this next one and it goes up. So basically what you see here is this is um, the sequence of notes that happens before it repeats at the octave. So if you wanted to create, uh, per, per se, um, a major scale, you would do the series of whole step, which is two half steps, another whole step, and then a half step between the third and fourth degree, and then another set of whole steps, and then it would wrap around here. This would essentially be the last step before the half step. So if you think of that as a circle, then the distance between these two is a half step. So if we want to build a scale now, there you go. As you can see, major scale right there. And you can play around with that. You can make minor scales, pentatonic scales, any kind of scale you want. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to create a little arpeggio here. So I'm just going to get rid of the second degree, the fourth degree, and the sixth and seventh degrees. So this is just going to be our little background sound for the rest of the tutorial. We'll add top note there. All right, so the next thing is you can change the pitch with these buttons here. So if you want it to be lower, now that's dropped the entire thing by an octave. So you can also go the other way, like that. And as you can see, this here is changing with the um, with the change in pitch. So it's kind of like a little sound wave like we said before. And as it goes, it gets the sound waves get uh, closer together because the pitch goes up. So what we can do now is we can actually change the shape of the pitch. So right now it's kind of short. We can make it even shorter by doing that. 
or we could make it longer. <laughs> and then it represents that like that over there. So, what we can do is we can make this pitch any shape we want. And it's going to show up here. And then what we can do is we can click over here and our little, uh, our little sound wave creature is going to run around and we can look at it. And the closer it gets over here to the center dot, the um, louder it's going to get. And you can drag it. And then in order to get out of that, you just click on the little dude again. Alright, so that was the sequence tutorial. Hope you enjoy.